Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John and today we're gonna be going over finally the Satil shot. This guy is huge. <laughs> um, I can't even believe how big it is. I guess I'm just not a double-sided saber kind of dude. Um, this is two separate sabers and they come apart and work independently from each other. Um, but I just, I think it's too much saber for me. Um, that's just my thought. But after this video, hopefully you'll be able to give it your own opinion. And maybe you'll let me know about it in the comments. So without further ado, let's just jump in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. So here is the Grand Master. Uh, this is sold by Corbanth. And uh, I'm wildly impressed. This lightsaber, I'm not sure who did all the machining, but this body is a sleeve. So from here to here is a sleeve that covers, you know, it grips onto the blade holder and this goes in here and these all grab and so on and so forth. But this is all like, this is actually thinner in diameter here than it is here. So it tapers out a little bit right here, which you can probably see. Um, but all of this design in here is all milled. It's not acid etched. So it's really deep and it feels really cool. Um, and then it is aluminum blacked and weathered. And then I, I'm assuming a clear powder coat over that because this has not changed uh, the way that it's looked. And I've handled it a bunch just to make sure that everything's feeling right and uh, working correctly. But... Um, yeah, this saber is really, really cool. It is heavy. Um, while all of the metal is machined really well and very thin, everything together, obviously, it's a double-sided hilt. Um, this guy is kind of heavy. Um, but a part feels fine. So, I don't know. You really got to use your best judgment. I'm not a double-sided hilt kind of guy. Um, but you can see it's, you know... For a single saber, it's pretty well sized. It's a little harder to grip up here, but you could. And then these do spin, just so you know, because they're spring loaded, so that you can remove and place these pieces should they ever need to be moved or replaced, um, or if you need access to the inside. I'm not gonna go over that. There are videos online showing that. I'm going to just show how to take it apart and access the chassis inside. So in order to take the saber apart, I'm supplying two Allen wrenches. The bigger one that is um, chrome plated, um, you're going to remove three of the six screws. You won't, this is a coupler right here in the middle. And in order to get them apart, you need to separate the at least one saber from the coupler. So there's three screws holding each, um, I'm sorry, each side on. Um, and so we're going to just remove one side. So I like to loosen all of them first. And I will specify that one saber side, like one side of the coupler is a little bit tighter than the other. Um, so one end goes in pretty easily and the other end you got to like kind of flex, not flex, but shimmy in. Um, so let's see, this is, I can already tell, this is the one that goes in nice and easy. So these screws are all cut to size or cut to length. So they are small and I don't have replacements for them. So don't really want to lose them, but do, do this over like a uh, flat surface. And I'm probably just going to fast forward from here. Now that the saber is um, apart, or rather the screws are out, you can just take the saber apart. I would recommend don't hold it straight up and down when you do this because 
Um, the chassis literally just comes right out. It, there's no wires. Um, and this is your kill switch, so I'm going to turn that off real quick. But you have your soundboard, your battery, which is removable. The positive side goes on the bottom, and I would recommend lifting the bottom out first. Um, I just put blue, another blue battery cover on this. It's still got the original wrap. It is an 18650 from KR Sabres. Um, but I wanted to give it that blue color, and it helps protect it a little more. Um, and then you have your 2 watt 3 ohm bass speaker right here. Uh, and your connector for inside the saber. So your buttons are right here, power, auxiliary, and this just slides right in. You're not going to be able to see that, but this just slides right in, and it can go in any orientation. Um, let's put the battery back in. This recharges, obviously, in a different terminal, but you would turn your saber on. And when you're putting this in, you want to make sure not to hit the pins on anything metal. Like, don't just... Nah. Um, I would lean it on and then feed it in. Also, gesture controls are a thing. So be a little gentle. Slide that all the way in. And then now I'm just going to put this back together for the sake of the video. Oh, and one other thing I should mention is there is a spacer. Oh, I, I skipped over a little bit. There's a spacer. So this guy um, just holds the Sabre's chassis apart enough for the speakers not to hit. You can see here that the speaker is literally flush um, on the bottom. So this holds them at an acceptable um, distance away and then allows for the venting. Also, this Sabre has an end cap that you can just put on and use them as individual Sabres. So that's vented for sound. Um, and these sabers also up top have a stock V3 NPXL. So these are, ah, these are in NeoPixel configuration. So let's put this back together now. Line up the venting correctly with the little chassis piece. Line up the, the switches so they're across from each other and then feed the screws back in. All right, so with the Sabre all together, um, it's impossible to do a demo of it right here. So I'm going to actually step in front of the camera and do a demo without the blades. So here we go. All right, so we already have the blade in. So the top button is your power and the bottom button is your auxiliary. To turn the Sabre on, you would just tap the power, and to turn it off, you would just tap it again. This has gesture controls, so you can also just stab on and twist off. So you, I like to pull it down and then twist it in order to turn the Sabre off. Um, with the Sabre on, you can do blaster block, so you'll tap the auxiliary. And then to do a lockup, you would hold the power button and collide with the blade. Um, in order to change colors, you would hold the auxiliary and then tap the power button. And now when you twist it, it'll change to whatever color your heart desires. The saber also does not stay on the color that you save it should you turn it off or um, switch fonts. It'll always default back to the regular color. To select the color that you want, you would just hit the power button and it'll give you a little indication sound that it is now staying on the color that you've selected. Um, to play music, you would hold the power for one second and release it while the saber is off. Um, and then to change fonts while the blade is off, just tap the auxiliary. So this comes with a premium font and the default fonts. Um, that being said, I did program the blade styles to be nicer than what comes with the default fonts. 
So you'll get some nice animations and flicker effects. And then once you get to the last font, which is your battery indicator, this uh, will show the power of the battery inside. So up higher, it'll be green or blue, like this. Uh, that obviously indicates the battery's doing very well. A little bit farther down turns to like a white, yellow, and then red. And obviously down here, you're going to want to charge it. Uh, one more tap. Light and dark exist in perfect balance. Brings you back to the Bastille... Uh, I'm sorry, the Satil Shan um, Saber font. So that is some of the general functionality of this lightsaber. All right, so that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you wanna see more, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It'll really help out a lot. Also, uh, in case it wasn't made clear earlier, this lightsaber will be for sale on my website. You can find the links in the comment below. Um, beyond that, if you have more questions that you would like answered, make sure to ask them in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next one, and may the Force be with you.